Hi, I'm Rick Crane of Angelus Artistry, and we are here with volume number 25. We're going to be painting the Chum Salmon. You're doing a great job. I know you are, and, and I know this might be new for you, but you're, you're doing a super good job here. And here comes a wet technique. Didn't dry it, and why it's still wet, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that pigment in there. Okay, and that's going to give it a real sharp greeny look to it. So we're going to get ready right now and we're going to start putting some color on this body and we're going to get that much closer to completing our chum salmon. And again, I'm mindful to, to really buff into those scales so we can still see those scales illuminating coming through. We're just coming to what the curve line is and that's where the light kind of bends around the fish a little bit. And we're just deepening up, not all the back section, but just areas that we see in the references. Build the layers. Don't try to do it all in one shot. If you pass three, four, five times, it's better than doing it once and getting it wrong. That's for sure. And this is not as hard as it may look or as some folks may think. Geez, you know, it's difficult to paint little detail, but it's not. And you put a layer on and let it dry, and then you can put another layer on if you want to. All depends on the look that you're looking for. We're going to do some stamping. We're going to do some washing. We're going to do some traditional scale tipping. In this particular color phase, there's not a lot of scale illumination. We're not getting a lot of that convex shape to the scale, so you're not going to see that traditional tipping. But in certain areas where we see light bending, and especially right around... Um, our lateral line here, we're definitely going to see some different color transitions. We're going to. So now I have that, that reddish orange look that I want. And I'm going to float my color here a little bit. And I'm going to use this color to warm up this red a little bit. And just because we're floating it, it's going to allow me to bleed that color so soft and so subtle. It's been my great pleasure to be able to spend some time with you and hopefully add some new dimensions to how you paint things. If you can learn how to use some of these techniques and apply them to other fish, your job will be to interpret the reference, pick out the right colors, and work with your canvas. So on behalf of all of us here at Anglis Artistry, I'm Rick Crane, and I wish you my very best.